Welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a first look at our 2025-2026 season. Oh, sorry, 2026-2027 uh, season. Wow, time's gone by really quickly. <clears throat> so, we are now playing in the League One. I've played a few matches, i played four matches already and I'm actually about to play the second round of the Carabao Cup against Ipswich Town. Uh, in fact, I think this is going to be quite a tricky game. Let's have a look. Yeah, they are in the league above, so that's going to be quite tricky. Now, let's take a look at the new squad. We were promoted uh, over the summer to a new squad. We have zero cash, as you can see here. We, in fact, we have minus 300,000 in cash at the moment. And... Um, yeah, the transfer window was slightly challenging because we don't ha we didn't have a big budget to work with, and also we didn't want to work with a big budget because the club doesn't have the money anyway. Um, there was not much money coming in. Um, obviously, you know, beginning of the season there's always um, sponsorship, which at the moment isn't that much to be honest. In fact, let's look at what that is. But also um, season ticket sales and so on. So as far as sponsorship income, we are at the bottom of the league with 170k coming in yearly. As far as season tickets, I believe we are in the bottom as well. Yeah, 22nd. So we managed to raise, in fact, just over a million. So it's not the worst. There are a few teams with less income than we do, but yeah, not the best either. So we are quite poor compared to other teams in this league. Which meant that we had to go down a very similar route to last year, where we basically flooded our squad with loan players. It's going to be one of the challenges playing uh, this, um, this league this year, is managing how we use those loan players, because obviously we can only have five of them at any one point in the squad except for the Carabao Cup, which as you can see in this case, I just put all of them pretty much in there. Now, you haven't met the squad yet, so let's have a look at that first. So, as you can see on the left hand side, I've put the notes up, as I normally do. Uh, so you can kind of follow along that way. So we have one new goalkeeper this year, we've got Renato Bellucci. Uh, and he's come to us as a, a free transfer, I believe. Yeah, free transfer, previously at Roma. In Italy uh, so young player looking for the future really that's basically uh, what this is about uh, and we still have Tyler who I think is gonna be with us um, well he as far as age is quite young yet so um, there's no reason for us to get rid of him but also this is probably kind of the plateau for him um, in terms of league or the, for his abilities and these attributes and so on uh, anyway, so it'd be sticking around with us though. Still no change on the right hand side of defense and this is starting to become a bit of an issue for us at the right hand side of our defense. We still have Kieran and the other player is J. Rowe. Um, so this is starting to be a position in need of some refreshing. On the left hand side we bought we loaned in a new player. Uh, oh no, we bought him. Ah, he's one of our elite spots, actually, from Uzbekistan. We've got a player who's about to retire at the end of the season, Farouks. So that's just a small improvement, looking to open up that spot for next season. Um, and then, in the center of defense, uh, we still have Sony and Alex on the wide target, man. Uh, sorry, the wide centre back position, but for the other positions, we pretty much did a complete swap, except for Cam Condola, who's still playing the non nonsense centre back. We got him last year from Wolves. Uh, the others are uh, f for the non nonsense centre back. We got where is he? Gavin Banner. He's the other player for that role, so he's the fir one of the first regens that we have. Very, very good player with a lot of potential from the Scottish League. So this is one to watch out for going forward, although it's, he's only on loan, so we're probably not going to have him back again anytime soon, but he's an incredible player. Um, 
And then on the uh, center um, defender role, got Diogo Azor, uh, Azocar from Chile. Also a regen or a new gen, whatever you call them. Paya, straight from Chile to us. And he's our second elite spot. And then finally, we got Francesco, Francesco Polva, an Italian player who actually has done quite poorly so far for us, bless him. But yeah, uh, he's come from Udinese for us on loan. So a lot of players on loan in defense uh, to start with. Um, while we're looking at these new gen players, I do have um, some features on Patreon that allow you to, if you want to, you know, support the channel, you can head over there and put your name down, and then I'll name one of the new gens after you. So, if you want to do that to support the channel, then I guess I should mention now, since we're looking at new gens, these are the first new gens for the senior squad. You can also name new gens in youth squad as well, and we'll follow the progress as the game goes on. Now, for the left side of the fence, we, um, I've already mentioned Mackenzie Lemon. Um, we still have him, and as I said, for Farouks. Defensive midfield, we have two new players. In fact, one of them we wanted to get last year, but we couldn't. But this year we did get him. Craig Moore from Motherwell. Got him on loan. And the other player also on loan, Alistair Clifford. He came to us on loan from Wigan. Then for the midfield positions, we have two new players, and these two we purchased. So Ismail, Dutch player, came to us from Arsenal. Didn't seem like he played at all at Arsenal. And then the other player is George Yorpenda from um, Nigeria. He came to us from Ipswich, which is the, play the team we're playing against right now. It's kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, so those are the two um, attacking midfield. And then on the right side of um, the attacking midfield, we've got two new players on loan. Richard Rowe is our third new gen in the squad. He came to us on loan from QPR. And the other player is Cammy Wilson. Where is Cammy? Can't see him. Oh, there we go. Oh no, wait, it's not Cammy, it's Seb. Seth Ferdinand, 20 year old, on loan from Coventry. On the right, on the left side, we do have Cammy Wilson, 19 year old. Whoops. 19 year old on loan from Aberdeen. And we still have Kiel Lafondre with us, 21 year old. Came to us from Burnley back in the day. And then strikers, we obviously have two new strikers. So Max Guthrie is one of those on loan from Ayr. And then the other player in that position is Danny Johnson, slightly older striker on loan from also. So that's the squad. Lots and lots and lots of loans. So you can kind of see how this is going to be one of the challenges for this year. Um, the the, the, the um, matches that we played, ended up either in draw or a loss so we are quite low down in the league at the moment we're about to play Ipswich for the Carabao Cup lots of things happen in the background in terms of like expanding the staff I'm actually in the process of um, finalizing the under 18s and under 21 staff as well so lots of things happening in the background with that well, let's carry on to the match <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so the the biggest issue here is the lack of funds for the club. That's starting to slow down our pro pro progress. I know I've said this every single season and every single season we've been promoted, but I truly believe that this season we're not going to get promoted. In fact, we're going to have to fight for our relegation. For, for, for not getting re relegated. I mean, I think it's going to be quite difficult to hold on to the league for various reasons. But 
but um, yeah, it all comes down pretty much to the fact that we don't have the the money to invest, really. Not entirely sure how the youth team's going. Um, they were promoted to the newer league. Maybe we could go have a look at it in a minute. Right, at half time, I possibly am going to do one change. Get Danny in for the second half. a bit of a ping pongy goal. And obviously Carabao Cup, it, it's it's nice to be competing in it, but none of the cups we have any actual goals for. As in like there's no uh, club vision targets for us to achieve. Um yeah. I think it's nice that we came to the second round, but not too overly concerned about it. Let's get Gavin in. Okay, and then we'll do some other subs now. We have 20 minutes to go, it's a good time to do the rest of the subs. Get Jay in, we're gonna get Alex in. And then finally, we're gonna get Kami out. Whoops. Kami out and Kian in. <laughs> oh, got an injury. Nothing we can do about that at this point. And there we have it. So, I think that's still better than last year. I think last year we got knocked out in the first round. Let's have a quick look at that. So, we can go to stages and then previous season. And I don't think we were in the second round. No. We were just in the first round. Okay. So, better than last year. Now, the under 18s are doing quite badly this season three defeats so far so they are struggling with the new league they were used to be around the top in the previous league league four but now they are trailing around the bottom and how about these guys also two defeats for the under 21s so overall the team is struggling to be in these new heights but we shall carry on and see how we do i'll catch up with you again in the mid-season uh, i usually come back in in the winter transfer window or just after it and uh yeah just update you on the progress thanks so much for watching until the end and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.